Hey guys, this is Jordan here from Tech Today, and in this video, I have a CES roundup for you guys. So the first product I'd like to talk about in this 2015 CES roundup is the Sony FDR-AX33 Handycam 4K recorder. So this camcorder shoots at 4K and has a 1 and 2 thirds inch CMOS sensor and a 29.8 millimeter Carl Zeiss Vario Sonar zoom lens and the aperture range is from f1.8 to f3.4 and it has an optical zoom of 10 times and a digital zoom of 120 times so you can get really crisp shots even when zooming in to 120 times considering it's 4K. And the video format is 3840 by 2160 at 30 FPS, also at 24 FPS, and it also shoots 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. And the image quality in a JPEG is 20.6 megapixels at 6048 by 3400, which is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And it also has a, tw a 3 inch articulating touchscreen, so you can watch yourself while recording. And it's also really easy to use because it has a touchscreen on it. And also it has built-in Wi-Fi so you can transfer your images and videos right to your device using their app. And another really cool feature is the image stabilization. So the lens will stay in the same place, but as the body moves around or is being shaken from being walking or anything like that, the image will or video will still be really crisp and smooth and you won't notice any choppiness from walking or any movement. So that's a really nice advantage. I definitely like that a lot about this camcorder. So I'm looking forward to seeing it later this year. So this year, LG decided to bring an 8K TV. Let me repeat that. An 8K TV to the show this year. And this is an incredible TV. It's double the quality of 4K, and it was 85 inches at the show, and it's literally ginormous. And 4K is just getting big. So can you, if you can even imagine 8K, it's crazy. And even up close, the images look incredible. And this is an incredibly expensive TV I'm positive of. And it probably won't come out till much, much later this year, or possibly even next year. But it's just sort of cool that LG decided to integrate that in this year's CES. LG also decided to bring the G Flex 2 to the show this year. And this features a 2 GHz 64-bit octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor, as well as an Adreno 430 GPU. And it also has a 5.5 inch curved OLED display, which is 1080p and has a 403 PPI. And it also has 2 GB of RAM and a rear 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and a laser autofocus system. And also the front camera is a 2.1 megapixel sensor. And it also has a 3000 milliamp battery. So it has a lot of battery life, and the curvature of the device is pretty nice, I think, in the hand. I haven't felt it myself, but I've heard from other people that it's a pretty nice phone overall. And I'm looking forward to this device coming out later this year. So USB Type-C was also released at CES. And this is really cool because it has USB 3.1 speeds, and it's reversible, and it can also transfer a display, which is awesome. So it's like a display cable and the USB port all in one and it can also charge really efficiently. That's one of my favorite things that was at CES this year. It's such a cool cable all in one. So this is my by far favorite product that was at CES this year. It's the BMW i3 which is not a new car but what they've added to it is incredible. The car will now stop whenever there's any object that it senses that's in front of it which is incredible. So you can have your foot completely all the way down on the gas and the car will stop itself even if your foot is still on the accelerator. That is just incredible and I absolutely love that technology and I can't wait till it's on all cars one day. So this year Tesla released a new car. It's called the Model X, and it's an all-electric crossover, and it has an incredible look to it, and it's extremely efficient considering it's all-electric, and it looks extremely futuristic, and I absolutely love the car. And Tesla's not a new car manufacturer, but they are implementing really awesome ideas in their vehicles, and I really do enjoy that manufacturer of vehicles. So this has been the 2015 CES Roundup. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. See ya!